My name is Peter Campbell. I'm the director of the Tumor Repository in the Epidemiology Research Program at the American Cancer Society National Home Office in Atlanta, Georgia. It's my pleasure to present a video abstract for a forthcoming paper in gastroenterology entitled Prospective Study Reveals Associations Between Colorectal Cancer and Type 2 Diabetes Mellitus or Insulin Use in Men. So it's been appreciated for a number of years that there are several modifiable risk factors for colorectal cancer. Those include alcohol, lead and processed meats, lack of fruits and vegetables, obesity, smoking, and physical inactivity. So many of these aspects of our Western lifestyle are also risk factors for glucose intolerance, high insulin levels, and overt type 2 diabetes mellitus. So the fact that these two diseases share so many risk factors led to the hypothesis that maybe diabetes itself is a risk factor for colorectal cancer. And this slide depicts summary results from a meta-analysis in 2005 on that topic. So overall, if you can see at the bottom, there's about a 28% increased risk of colorectal cancer among study participants that reported a history of diabetes. Now, curiously, the results when stratified by gender were almost identical. Since the 2005 meta-analysis, there have been about five well-characterized uh, cohort studies on the topic of diabetes and colorectal cancer risk. And in men, the story seems to be about the same. There's been pretty consistent 30 to 80% increased relative risks uh, among participants that had type 2 diabetes mellitus and subsequent risk of colorectal cancer. Now, among women, the story seems to be changing. Um, in four of the five studies, there was absolutely no increased risk from being diabetic or having type 2 diabetes mellitus. Now, the second background piece that's important here uh, to this study is the role of insulin treatment among people with type 2 diabetes. Now, this issue is particularly important because almost all patients with type 2 diabetes will eventually require exogenous insulin use to control their diabetes. About six years ago, Yang and colleagues published a really provocative paper that suggested that insulin use among people with type 2 diabetes was associated with about a two-fold increased risk of colorectal cancer overall. And more importantly, when the stratified of by duration of use, which is shown here, you see a really clear dose response, linear relationship between duration of insulin use and colorectal cancer risk, such that patients with diabetes uh, with over five years of insulin use had about a five fold increased risk of colorectal cancer. So, because of the considerable morbidity and mortality imposed by colorectal cancer, and because of the sheer prevalence of type 2 diabetes mellitus in the United States, we decided to conduct our own study using the Cancer Prevention Study 2 uh, Nutrition Cohort, as I'll describe next. So the study was conducted with the American Cancer Society's Cancer Prevention Study 2 Nutrition Cohort. So this itself was based on the 1982 CPS2 Mortality Cohort of almost 1.2 million people. Um, these people were all based in the United States. So participants in the study completed uh, a detailed self-administered lifestyle and medical questionnaire in 1992 and 1993. And from those 184,000 participants, we excluded participants on a number of factors, uh, most notably on history of, of any cancer at baseline. And that left us with about 81,000 women and 73,000 men. Now, among those people through 2007, we had just over 1,200 women and 1,500 men diagnosed with colon or rectal cancer in that time. Now with men, we see about a 24% increased risk of instant colorectal cancer with a history of type 2 diabetes mellitus. Now this didn't vary much when we divided by colon or rectal cancer by localized versus regional metastatic disease. And the results for insulin use look quite similar. So in general, we see relative risks around 1.3. There's not an enormous amount of variation by subsite or by stage. And the results among women were really consistent. Uh, they were consistently null. We saw absolutely no association between diabetes or insulin use and risk of colorectal cancer among women. Uh, that is held true when we stratified by stage of disease, uh, by subsite of the colon and rectum, uh, as well as when we looked at durations of insulin treatment or durations of, of diabetes. So to sum up, uh, this study supports an association uh, albeit a modest one, between diabetes and insulin use with risk of colorectal cancer among men, but not among women. We don't have direct data to support why this difference in gender might have 
occurred in recent years, but we suspect it might be related largely to improved glucose control among women that have diabetes relative to men. Um, the second main finding from this study is that insulin use doesn't appear to be dramatically associated with increased risk of colorectal cancer. Uh, and with that,